pictures and cream and cigars The smell of baggy food Your mother Tried not picks with rings Body tissues float in the sink The water's gold and pink Around the edges Cats cried all caught in the thick of it By the skin of your teeth So I give you a piece of me You're the dog that bites But I'm still the hand that feeds you Hold on tight, shake me till I'm see-through Oh, oh, Hi, I'm Kara with Cone Denim. Uh, very happy to be with you today to introduce a really exciting and special uh, collaboration. Um, we worked with Enrhyme and Genealogia to bring you um, a, a very new um, way of thinking. Um, hopefully something that'll be inspirational and um, you know, a call to action, so to speak. Here at Cone, we wanted to really explore this lost art of zero waste uh, pattern cutting. And we thought it would really be the perfect opportunity with this latest collection that we're launching. It was really a bit of a journey for us. All the details are paid attention to, um, you know, really down to um, making sure that, you know, the garment was ready to be recycled. So um, removable trim, um, biodegradable sewing thread, 100% cotton sewing thread used from A&E. Um, and, you know, it was really uh, something that um, even all of any fabric little bits or pieces that might have been left over were given to be used for mending or patching the garment. And Rhyme has done an amazing job to make sure that we have hit that mark, that we're making a collection that is commercial. That is something that fits really well, is beautiful, inspiring, and it's really can, you know, stand up to any garment in the market. It was such an honour for me and Sadia to work on this zero waste collection for Cone together with our friends at Genealogia. I've always, as a designer, tried my hardest to eliminate waste, even from the very beginning. don't like the way things are finished. So for me, it was always about the cleanest way to possibly make a jean. And so I've always been doing some essences of zero waste when it comes to the one piece fly. It was a real pleasure to explore properly doing a zero waste collection. and. The range of fabrics that Cone had given us was amazing as well. Though These were awesome fabrics that were all different whips. It was a real learning curve for me because every single fabric is, in theory, a different pattern. We got a few garments looking amazingly well with hardly no waste. And then some of them, we were still having some issues. And so the real breakthrough came when I managed to figure out a way of fitting a pattern piece on pretty much any type of fabric. And that was amazing. So there are rules in path pattern cutting and the way I got around it was by putting darts in really unusual places. And it was just awesome. It was such a, a fun experience uh, pattern cutting this actual collection. And then sewing it, I made sure that we followed through, we put circle bar tacks on everything down to the trims as well. We got screw on buttons from our friends at Jarvid Brothers. AE Fred gave us 100% cotton thread. It just came together so beautifully well. And, you know, not only that, Genealogia did such a fantastic job washing the actual collection too. But I think Zero Waste for me is something that I'm going to be exploring for many years to come. And it was an absolute pleasure to, to start this process with our friends at Cone. Hi, everyone. So nice to be here with you and to collaborate with some of you again. Uh, my name is Victoria from Genealogia's team. And well, we have been in charge of developing this, uh, this great collection. And I think the concept of this collection is very nice because uh, zero waste uh, great fabrics uh, deserve a zero waste great finishing. Separate the collection, let's say, in two different concepts. In one side, we were having the, the indigo garments. And our aim or our idea was to keep uh, the finishing process as simple as possible. A uh, few steps, uh, eco-technologies from Genealogia. On the other hand, we were having um, 
two raw white garments. That it was great because it was a canvas for us. So let's go uh, piece by piece. It seems like a very um, complicated process when you when you look at the garment because it's really, let's say, aggressive. But it was not. We we achieved the way to to get this kind of heritage uh, look on this garment with a, a few steps. Uh, also, I must say that for all of the garments that we make this collection, the EIM score is green. And that means um, we are keeping the concept about uh, zero waste. In order to achieve this, this look, we use the combination of two of our main technologies that were the, the G2 and also the E-Flow. Mosin, amazing collection. This is so exciting. Um, I just wanted to ask you a few. I mean, we're so we're so close to the fabrics, and obviously we have um, our part to be able to create a tool for designers to then be able to um, create a garment that's zero waste. But we have to start with fabric. So I just wanted to ask from your perspective, um, what did you think of the fabrics? Do you know what? I was really excited about this from the beginning. I've always wanted to do a zero waste collection, and but I knew from the beginning. Um, we had to use all of the fabric. The first process was actually getting all your fabrics and they were a mixture of amazing selvages and non selvages as you said, stretch. And I was really excited about the task of making styles to fit every single fabric exactly. And that was uh, the first phase. I had to do that thing. When you're pattern cutting, you, you have one thing like designing a collection on paper and drawing it. But when you're doing a, a collection like this, you actually have to think like a pattern cutter. So you have to sit down and Think about, okay, I'm going to put this pocket here, but there's waste here. So I'm having to adjust the patterns every time, put a dart here to use up more of the fabric. So actually, it was a completely different way of working that I've never worked before, ever. And it was so exciting. It made me feel, you know, as a student, like 25 years ago. So I was really excited about it. But the fabrics were, were awesome. And all the ones that I used, um, I had no issues with any, with any of them. But also the thread that we used also from a &E was was great as well. So... It was a love, love touch, but a little thing that I added was I made sure that even all the pocketing was in, in the fabric pattern as well. Mm -hmm. Fabrics from cone, you can't go wrong. I want to talk to you guys about the fabrics that we used in this zero waste collection. These are um, some of our most sustainable fabrics. So let's dive into these fabrics a bit. We have our water conservation collection. So um, one, um, as you saw, these beautiful garments features a, um, a really gorgeous ecru um, with a cotton reef fibra blend. It has a really defined twill line. Uh, the fibra adds to really plush, um, soft hand. Um, this includes our teal selvage that um, is representative of our clean um, water community selvage. Regular C12, which is our 100% organic cotton uh, selvage, which is um, inspired from some of our archival constructions. Really beautiful texture, a lot of loom chatter. Um, and has a really great drape to it as well. In this capsule, we're also featuring one of our new hemp fabrics called Freshman. And this is a blend of organic cotton, post-consumer recycled cotton, um, really bright, beautiful cast, slightly open, very authentic construction. As mid-weight, it still has a really nice drape and hand to it. And then also in this collection, we have a chambray shirting fabric with a lot of texture. And last but not least, we have our um, fabric called Aura, which is part of um, Lensing's new Tencel model with Indigo Color technology. So this is a mid-level stretch in this new really unique cast of Indigo that has a fade resist type of look. So this is perfect if someone doesn't want their jeans to fade down and it's just kind of like a stay color. Um, this also includes the G2 flash finish. The whole design process took place during the pattern making. And yeah. so you probably would not have designed it um, if you put it on paper to have the selvage on the outside. I honestly yeah. was very unhappy yeah, that the selvage was showing. I was actually physically upset. And I was like, I have to figure out a way to jigsaw this puzzle a bit differently. So it's hidden in the inside. I managed to hide the selvage on the center, center back on the chore jacket. But on the other bits, I was like, and I didn't want to hide it away that it was hidden inside a seam because that would have been upsetting as well. I said, it has to be at least showing somewhere. So I had right. to compromise. And what I did is I did, I did a really clever sewing technique where I had half of it showing and the other half, I covered most of it away. So it was like a little sliver of a selvage.